Well, Holden has revealed the election could determine its future at Elizabeth with the company to make no decision on the plant until a new government is formed. Tom Richardson is there live. Tom, what does this mean for workers? Well, Kate, workers uh, will vote, as you know, on a new enterprise bargaining arrangement that's supposed to safeguard the operation's future. But Chairman Mike Devereaux jetted into Adelaide today to talk to workers, and he says even a yes vote may not be enough for Detroit, which will be seeking assurances from whoever forms government in five weeks' time. We'll wait for the outcome of the election, and then we'll have to have a, a very solid conversation with whichever party is governing the country at that so time. So a call by General Motors of Detroit won't be made till after you're aware who the government is? Uh, certainly we would need to wait until, frankly, uh, the outcome of the election to be able to commit that billion dollar investment. Mr Devereaux also revealed that that uh, workers' ballot has been delayed. It was originally scheduled for Friday, but it's been delayed till the following Tuesday. Now, that's to give workers a chance to really get to grips with the proposed changes, which do include a pay freeze, but that change in schedule taking the federal minister by surprise. I understand that the shop stewards have signed off an arrangement which will be put to workers on Friday. This, this, so, so, no, no. Now next Tuesday. So they've changed it. The no, well, I, I've been a bit travelling today, so. Yeah, Senator Carr also in town today talking up new grants for manufacturers including Holden supplier Herotech. And just finally, some good news for Holden today. New figures showing buoyant sales for the Commodore and the Cruise, which recorded its best month of sales in a year. Kate.